Wix gallery tutorial, how to add and organize a custom photo gallery on your Wix website. Hi there, you guys. Now, are you looking to, I mean, to know how to add in galleries on your Wix? Well, you are in the right video because in this video, we're going to do just that. All right. So first of all, you need to have like a Wix account for you to do that, of course. And yeah, you know how to do that. It's just easy. Just go to like Wix.com and then make a account using your Google. If you're already logged in using your Chrome, if you're browsing via Chrome, you don't really have to do anything. Just go to Wix.com and you'll see like a pop-up menu that will appear here that asks you to log in using your Google account. And yeah, that's basically it. You just have to click allow and you're in. Now, once you're in, your site won't look like this, of course. It'll ask you to create your first site. And, uh, which leads you to choosing from different templates and which leads me to talking about Wix templates. Well, what I like about Wix is that it offers you a great amount of customizability when it comes to arranging the elements on your page. So basically you have full control over what's going to show up on your page. But the thing with Wix is that they the re, the, the the website responds almost slowly if not un, un, dysfunctional, if that's even the right term for it. But chances are when you're using like Google search engines and uh, they really hate slow responders. That means that there are chances that when Wix crashes down or like responds slowly, it really won't res uh, load up your, your website unless you reload the website again or you go to that website again or you type it all over again you're on your search engine. But still, people do use Wix and I've heard that there's like a current uh, like an update lately where they upgraded Wix and yeah I'm not sure if that's like the pro version of Wix there's like Wix creator X I'm not sure if it's but it just sounds familiar it's, it sounds similar to that but anyway we're talking about galleries right so all right so given that you already like have a site on Wix standing by that you're editing you can see like a button right here that lets you edit site. So I want you guys to click this. And once you click this button, you'll land on the editor and with the template that you have chosen primarily. So now this is how the editor look like. You have the plus or the add button right here, which lets you add anything from, yes, you got it right, from galleries to embedded links everything is right here. But aside from the add elements button, there are also the menus and pages button. So you can see here, um, site menu, sign up and login, store pages, membership pages, and a lot more. We also have the add section. Now this is where you see different ads and where you organize them or where you choose from what type of ad you'd like to insert on your page. We have the welcome, we have the about, we have the team, and it also shows you how it's going to look like right here on the right side of this pop-up window. So we have different uh, themes for contact, for promotion, for services as well, for, for subscribing. We have a lot of options to choose from. And aside from this, we also have this site design. If you want to change the theme, you can customize so by doing uh, by clicking this button. I'm not sure if you can like change the whole theme, but you can customize the colors. Here on this theme currently, the theme is like, uh, what is this? Um, hippie some sort I'm not sure but the page background you can also change it right over here on this part where you can customize it and then choose the color you want or maybe choose from the selected backgrounds right here I want to go in with the urban because I I don't I don't think so there's a lot of stuff going on let me just choose like a planar one yeah this one looks good because you know maybe like I'm yeah, it's not even close. Um, what about this one? It's just paper. Or what about this? Yeah, it looks cool. Yeah, I'm gonna go with this because it like goes with like the online shop um, theme that I mean store that's going on. Anyway, now if you want to add like a customized gallery, you know, like all these photos are good, but you want it to be like moving. You want it like a slideshow. You want everything to like fade and then next photo comes in. Now to do that, just click on add elements. And of course, choose in gallery. You can add in a lot more stuff like text, images, buttons, strips, decorative box, menu and anchor, contact and forms, video and music as well, interactive stuff. 
We have list. You can also embed stuff, social, content manager, blog, store bookings. And yeah, but we're looking forward to adding like a gallery. Now, there are tons of different types of galleries you can choose from here. They've, they are also categorized like into pro galleries, grid galleries, slider galleries. The slider is my favorite. And more types like uh, is this a honeycomb version, something like that triangle, and uh, yeah, I want to try the slider galleries. So I'm just go ahead and choose the slider. And when you put it anywhere on screen, it's gonna cover what's already there. So I'm just gonna have to add it somewhere here. Yeah. Okay. Or let me just make it a lot smaller and I'm just going to put it here maybe. And I'm just going to, now if you want to add in like photos here, change images. And then now you can change images. Uh, these are the current images inside that. So what you want to do now is to drag the images uh, to their order if you want to. But if you want to add in more images, hit this. And then you'll be able to choose from your own images. Site files, either the files that you've already uploaded here on the editor, or you can upload fresh media using this button right over here. And once you're done, you can just click done. Yeah, so that's it. That's how you add in your gallery. But uh, what else? What type of gallery can we actually add in? This one, the honeycomb diamonds. This one looks pretty nice. And uh, of course, the photos that you'll see here are photos that are already inside the theme, but you can go ahead and change it right away if you want to. I'm just go ahead and um, remove this, this photo. I'm not sure if I'm removing the right ones and backspace this. Yep. And uh, I'm just going to move you here. Sale is on. I'm just going to put it right over here. And I'm just going to make this honeycomb my main picture now. And this slider goes here. Basically, this is like... All right. And the slider goes up here. Basically, this shows all the pictures inside the honeycomb. I'm not sure that's a good concept or what. But here and make sure everything is inside the border and this slider will do the job I think it's pretty cool and we're done so this is my new layout now so this slider gallery right here shows up everything inside this honeycomb so yeah galleries can be useful like that you guys there are a lot more um, ways for you to make galleries a lot more useful. You can just go ahead and explore what works on your site. But basically, that's it for this video, guys. If you like more videos like this, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit this or give this video a thumbs up. It really helps us a lot big time. But that's it for this video. I'll see you again on the next one. Peace out.